tell you their chance today we're going to be finding out what happens when you plug 130 watt usb-c power supply into these new macbook pro 16s can you actually get fast charging spoiler alert i think you can even though it may be semantics but i'll show you that pretty much on usb-c you can pretty much get full power out of this system there are some niche cases where you won't i will also show how these batteries could be destroyed within months. Yesterday I've done a real world project and believe me, the battery was just draining so fast. I was discharging it so fast, it would have only lasted maybe two hours. And this is like a real world use case. And then I got the double whammy of putting it on power to charge it when the battery got low and I was pumping so many watts into this. I'll show you how much in a minute. I will show you how to take care of this battery so you don't destroy it because you can destroy this battery without a doubt. First of all, why am I doing this? The reason I'm doing this is because I don't like my power on the left. I like it on the right. It's just my setup, just, just how it is. And I'm wondering if I plug 100 watts into this, will I get full power? And what are the disadvantages? You know, how fast is the charging compared to this? Because you will not believe how many watts this pumps into this when it's charging. It's just out of this world. You've got the watt meter there hopefully you can see that it's using 15.5 watts with the screen at full brightness which is absolutely amazing this is like a low power display because i know of some 17 inch displays that use 25 watts yes so this is pretty efficient considering the whole system is using 15.4 watts at the moment so if you don't know this has a 140 watt power brick compared to the 96 of the 14 and you can get a 67 on the 14 inch base model heaps more watts now this is the 32 core beast so it is the m1 max so this thing draws a lot more power than say the m1 pro or just the 16 core gpu so it's not going to be like that for a 14 inch but have a look at this this was my workload yesterday so what i was doing yesterday that drained the battery and it was only going to last a couple of hours on batteries i just went into handbrake i just started exporting so let's just export now we'll overwrite that file because i was doing that yesterday and this is real world use okay so what we can see there we've gone up to 55 watts already just doing this now usually if i'm doing something like this i wouldn't video edit at the same time but this time i did for whatever reason so when i was video editing oh one or more files could not be relinked I have no idea. Oh, yes, that's the file I'm overriding. So there's the proof that I was actually doing this in real world. So I'm scrubbing here. How many watts am I using now? Over 100 watts, all right? Just scrubbing and doing this. I was exporting at the same time and it even uses more watts. It's just unbelievable the amount of power this actually draws. You saw there, it went up to 100 watts. I'm not going to belabor the point. But anyway, this was all on battery I was doing this, okay? So the battery was just going, shh. I could literally see it going down. Now, given that this workload, and I tested it with render and stuff like that, it does go over 100 watts. So you are limited by this USB-C. Now, what happens when I plug 130 watts? Will I get any more than 100 watts? First, I want to tell you, that when the battery drained down and I plugged this in, the MagSafe, I closed everything down. So I just wanted to charge and see how much power it used for charging. So I turned everything off, this encode, etc. And I just plugged this in and it was using 130 watts to charge. Okay, 130 which isn't good for the power supply. It's only 140 watts. You really want more in reserve than 10 watts. And another thing is, while I was encoding and video editing, I did not even notice I was encoding on the background. It performed just as well as it did, you know, when I wasn't encoding. So it's just amazing what you can do with these things. It's just wow. But anyway, I was discharging the battery so fast and then I plug it in and 130 watts was being pumped into it. This is going to destroy your battery. So I've learned now, if I'm going to be gaming or doing anything, I'm going to be doing it on power. I want to avoid the battery discharging so fast. If you've got to do it, you've got to do it end of story you do it right but if you can have it plugged in why would you want to be discharging your battery of over 100 watts as you saw before and then plugging it in and pumping in 130 watts the battery ain't gonna last long doing that stuff and this is real world i wasn't doing this as a torture test or anything this was just using 100 watts just doing two simple things right so now let's plug in the usb-c and i'm going to take this power out and we'll see still says it's on power 
So what happens when you plug this USB-C in 130 watts, when you go into system report, it actually says you've got a 90 watt USB-C connected to it. So it doesn't say 130 watts, it doesn't even say 100, it says 90. When I was charging, so I was charging with this, so I pulled out the MagSafe, I started charging with this. Instead of using 130 watts, I was using 96 watts, even though it said it was only 90 watts. So obviously if you have USB-C, it will charge at 96 watts. So that makes sense because obviously the 14 inch does come with a 96 watt charger. So it's obviously baked into the system. It wants to take 96 watts from USB-C, regardless of how powerful it is. This is 130 watts. Obviously if the power supply doesn't supply 96, it won't do 96 because you can get a 67 watt. Now here's my thoughts on that. 96 watts is still fast charging to me. If 96 watts on the 14 inch is fast charging, why isn't it fast charging on the 16 inch and the answer probably is the battery's bigger so to reach that target of oh 15 minutes plugged in it does 50 percent or whatever they said obviously you need 130 watts to do that rather than 96 but 96 is still fast charging to me especially when you're saying the 14 inch fast charging is 96 watts so i actually exported on this power usb-c and the difference was pretty much the same you saw that i was using more than 100 watts before so you may get some battery drain if you're using this as far as i could tell from the couple of benchmarks i've done like exporting this which doesn't use over 100 watts and exporting in final cut there was no difference in the time being connected to this because it didn't use over 100 watts but you saw before i can actually make it go over 100 watts so there may be times that it dips into the battery because all this will supply is 96 watts even though it is a 130 watt power brick and even though that it only says 90 watts in the system report there so here's my takeaway from this you can get pretty much maximum power out of this plugged into USB-C. The charging is still fast. 96 watts is still fast. And by the way, the best way to take care of this battery is have it plugged in when you're doing something really intensive, CPU and GPU together, because you will use over 100 watts and the battery will just you know go down really quickly and you're discharging it too fast maybe charge with 96 watts i think i'm actually going to charge this trickle charger with a 65 watt charger just to take care of the battery and anything intensive i do i'm going to try and plug it in it's great that you have the performance here on battery when needed but if you don't need it on battery and you can have it plugged in why not because you're going to save a lot of wear and tear on that battery it really does discharge fast and again just plug it in mag say putting another 130 watts into it man that is just destroying that battery there so i'm going to start using this now i'm going to start using 100 watt or i might just buy the 96 watt charger from apple and actually just use the usb-c and not use the mag safe because then i can use it on that side and i pretty much get full power again i went over 100 watts before and yes the charging will be slower but it's still fast at 96 watts believe me and i'm just going to save the life of my battery if i can i will use a 65 watt charger or something like that to trickle charge it just to take care of it and this is only specific to the 32 core max okay the other max with the 16 core gpu it's not going to drain the battery like if i was just editing in here it would probably use half the power of what i was doing just scrubbing here and especially if your cpu is going in the background like it was with me so yeah that's the takeaway from it oh, i think i'm going to to go usb-c it's not affecting my performance so much and i'm taking care of the battery i'm just going to order the 96 water and just do that now with the 16 inch so anyway catch you in the next one guys tally ho